Do you know that the coffee sachets we consume in two minutes take months of planning and efforts to get prepared, packed and available to us? Supply chains are a critical part of our everyday lives, even more so as we move towards the new normal. The balance between demand and supply governs the marketplace. The current situation has put a lot of pressure on the supply chain. Quarantines, factory shutdowns and panic buying led to the demand patterns changing worldwide. Customer needs for non-essentials, leisure and hospitality fell drastically, while their need for groceries, PPEs and online retail surged. Welcome to Force Edu, a place where all supply chain enthusiasts come for a weekly dose of knowledge. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel you are missing out on value adding content. Demand planning is the first step of any supply chain. It involves estimating future demand and aligning the entire organization to satisfy the expected demand. One of the major goals of planning is to prevent overstocking and understocking of goods. Overstocking leads to excess inventory, thus increasing costs, and decreasing revenue, while understocking leads to lost sales, and goodwill. Traditionally, Organizations carry out the process of demand forecasting in order to estimate future demand. However, demand forecasting is largely based on historical data, that is, the sales data based on consumer purchases in the past few weeks, months or even years. But because of COVID-19, customer preferences have changed overnight. Thus, past data is not reliable anymore. Some experts are calling the pandemic a black swan event an event no one could have predicted or planned for. The scale and impact of it could not have been predicted, even by Amazon's models. Today the annual demand forecasts of almost all companies stand inaccurate. Is there a way out? Well, according to Stephen Covey, the organization does not have to be at the mercy of the environment. This is a time for business to be proactive. Instead of being completely shut down, alternate solutions need to be explored. For example, textile companies in India were forced to shut down, but they started manufacturing PPE kits, and today, the entire country manufactures over 4.5 lakh PPE suits daily. If the demand is low, a pull manufacturing schedule might be beneficial for business. In this, the organization maintains a stable inventory level while varying production to meet demand. Thus, buildup of finished goods should not occur. However, in some sectors like agriculture this approach cannot be implemented. This just-in-time manufacturing is one of the reasons for the supply chain shock caused by COVID-19. However, today it also seems to be the solution to companies facing low demand. Such companies might also want to offer discounts and control their inventory allocation. A push manufacturing schedule seems to work fine for companies facing high demand, constant production with safety stock. However companies should not go overboard with inventory. Take the example of people who stocked up hand sanitizers at the start of the pandemic, hoping to profit from it later. They ran into strict pricing regulations on major e-commerce platforms like eBay and Amazon. They were not able to sell their inventory at inflated prices, and also not able to make profit on the products they had purchased, thus ended up losing money on the goods they had stockpiled. Some path-breaking measures to adapt for supply chain resilience are CPFR and predictive analytics. CPFR stands for Collaborative Planning Forecasting and Replenishment. The key word here is collaborative. A manufacturer should communicate and carry out important functions like demand planning in collaboration with its suppliers and retailers, not in a silos. It is high time excellent communication and performance KPIs across the entire value chain are established. Another measure the industry is moving towards is predictive analytics. Unlike traditional forecasting, this not only analyzes historical data, but also uses advanced techniques like data mining to make predictions about the future or unexpected events. If you want to understand this impact, supply chain disruptions caused by COVID-19, then stay tuned to our channel Force Edu.